once upon a time, in a land of Good morning, everyone. I am Andrew Hockrottle. It is nice to see you back here. If you haven't joined us before, today we are going to be creating and writing a story together and then doing some visuals using Adobe Firefly to bring our story to life in our imaginations. This is part three of this stream. And so if you haven't joined us before, it's going to be a great time. Uh, make sure that you tune in and chat. Make sure you say hi. Let's warm up those fingers this morning. Uh, go ahead, say hi, leave an emoji, your favorite emoji in chat, because we are going to be relying on you to create this story. It's going to be a great time. Let's go ahead and recap where we are so far in our write your own story once upon a time, and then you will help me fill in the rest of the blanks today and generate some awesome images here in Adobe Firefly. All right, are we ready, set, let's go. So I'm gonna pop over here and this is our story. We're gonna read through and I'll give you a little bit of an idea of where we are and then where our journey is taking us. Now, chat, I'm going to need your help both writing the story of where we're going and generating some images to help fill in those blanks. So let's get started with our story. Once upon a time, there was a super snail that, sorry, and if this sounds crazy, sorry, if this sounds crazy, uh, it's because you, chat, have made it crazy. Uh, if there is a phrase that seems out of place, there is a description, it's because you have provided that to me in a past stream. So as I read through this, you have written this stream so far and we will continue to write this dream together. Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a super snail that lived in an ancient labyrinth. They didn't know yet, but they were almost ready for a big adventure. While they enjoyed their hexagonal, iridescent, banana-split ice cream sundae with a hot dog and sprinkles, suddenly there was a knock at the door. It was none other than the wombat salesman wearing Egyptian jewelry that lived in the swamp next door. So you can see our generations over here uh, with Adobe Firefly to accompany our story. The ruler of the land had issued a decree and all creatures were being called to a lava foam parade in the center of town. Our creature was excited and ready to find the perfect outfit. They ran to the closet and put on their tutu, bright neon shirt, and sunglasses with a top hat. It was time for a celebration. With their best dressed, our heroes set into the dark forest with a happy heart and an adventurous spirit. They didn't know what was lurking in the shadows was Kronos, an evil alpaca with red eyes and a gold necklace. Suddenly from behind, Kronos appeared and conjured up an army of squirrels to attack our hero with salt and cuteness. Our hero grabbed their candy cane sword and fought with all their might to break through the light at the end of the path. Swing, smash, swoosh, swoosh, sling, swoosh, excuse me. Kronos was vanquished and the path was clear. Once they arrived at the festival, it was time for a snack. Our hero found the perfect cart and ordered a slime hot dog with a side of mushrooms to recover from the battle. As they were enjoying the snack, suddenly a bright light flashed and a portal opened, sucking our hero into a haze of light and smoke. As the portal came to a close, our hero found themselves standing over a breathtaking view. As far as they could see was a bioluminescent ocean landscape with islands, organic vines, and forest views from a cliff with small rabbits, magical fog, and glittering fireflies. Suddenly, from seemingly nowhere, a buzzard in a blizzard with lizard scales dressed as a wizard <laughs> appeared and said to return back home, follow the call. Their name was Ozzy. Our hero knew that this meant they would have to explore the land and find their way home. In the distance, there was a blue tower made of gelatin with robot bees with blue vines glowing in a gorgeous landscape. And chat, that is where we have left off so far. So our story is going to take some turns and continue, but I cannot do it without your help. So I am going to read the next piece of the story, and then we're going to use Adobe Firefly to generate some images with that. But I need you to fill in the blanks. So Let's continue the story. Put your suggestions for our generations over in the, uh, in the chat. So here we go. Next, so we're at the gates. Our hero slowly trudged over the icy landscape and arrived at the gates of the tower. The description of the gate of the tower was guarded by fantasy animals. So chat, I need you to describe the gates of the tower. And 
For context, here is where we were heading and where our hero was going. It was a blue tower made of gelatin with robot bees with blue vines glowing in a gorgeous landscape. So what does the description of this gate look like? Uh, let me know, put your suggestions in chat, and I'm going to go ahead and open up Adobe Firefly. And we're using the Firefly in uh, web experience here. Uh, and for context, again, we need the description of the gates of the tower. We're gonna do text to image to just kind of get us started. And uh, we have ice gate, so let's do that. So let's do ice gate is a good start. And we're gonna kind of just generate as we go. Um, I think for this one, we probably wanna do two uh, widescreen images and that way we can kind of stack them up. So we'll do ice gate. Uh, actually, let's do four by three, that is probably better. So we've got ice gate. Let's see what that looks like in our generation right here. Uh, generating in Adobe Firefly. We do need a little voiceover for this and keep your suggestions going. All right, so we've got an ice gate. That's looking good. And someone's saying steampunk with gauges and dials and brass stuff. So um, ice gate with gauges and dials. And then let's change the style over here to steampunk. Uh, I think that we can look in themes and we're going to kind of go back and forth here because I don't want to cover things. So I'm going to scroll down here and see we can find there is a steampunk style that's in here. Um, let's see here. Steampunk right there. So then we can do the steampunk as well. And someone's saying, "Ooh, there's barbed wire. Yes. Hello, Eric. Um, barbed wire. All right, Firefly needs hold music. Yes, I can turn on some music. Uh, if you all want some vibes, we can do some vibes. Let me know if you want some vibes in chat. Uh, and then I'm going to do um, on a tower just so we get a little bit of context there. So we're gonna do generate here and we are going to keep it going. And while we do that, I am gonna put on some vibes. Why not chat? Uh, I, I think it'd be a, a good little uh, plug-in for us as we continue this story together. Um, and hopefully you enjoy this story. If you enjoy this, let me know. And also if you have suggestions of where you want to go with this story, also put that in chat because we are going to hit the end of the story so far today, uh, but I do want to keep it continuing and going. If you see me look all over the place, what I'm doing is I'm trying to get us some vibes going real quick. Uh, let's see here. Dun, 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 dun. Vibes, vibes, vibes. Uh, one second. Hold on. We're getting there. Uh, all right. Hold on, chat. Pause, please. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see here. Uh, you'd think this would be easier and quicker. I almost set it up and then I was like, no, we don't really want music. It'll be over our story. And then I thought, you know what? We do. All right. Let's do this. Also, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to Adobe Live here on YouTube. We have awesome content, including a boot camp next week with one of my favorites. Um, his name is Bob Ewing, and he'll be doing a lettering workshop, which is going to be a grand old time. All right, chat, we have dun 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 dun, dun vibes. All right, we're vibing, chat. All right, let's continue on here and see what we generated. I left you hanging with one of those. And chat, we have said ice gate with gauges and dials barbed wire on a tower. Uh, and this is what we're looking up. It's a little too close, so we can continue this. And let's do maybe a uh, wide angle. Ooh, actually, here we go. Uh, we've got, oh, someone says intricate. Nice, I like that one. So there's a golden blue curved gate with heavy brass open doors. Love that. And let's kind of add some things. So let's do covered in ice. I think that's good and see what else we have here. Um, ooh, ooh, let's do uh, intricate, intricate. Let's do that, intricate. And then go to blue brass. All right, we like the brass, I like that. All right, let's go ahead and generate and see where we are with this one. And intricate golden blue curved gate with heavy brass part open doors covered in ice. And I might want to add like fantasy or glow. Ooh, chat, chat, y'all, this is looking great. So I am going to change this because I want it a little bit wider. And all we need to do is come over to composition and we are going to do wide angle and generate that and see what that looks like. See if it can pull back a little bit because I do want more of this scene uh, because we may be able to paint some people in using the in painting feature, which would be really cool. Um, 
All right, that looks really good in chat. We're gonna need your decisions here on one, two, three, or four. Um, I am going to be painting in some people. Actually, let's go ahead and do this portrait just so we can paint in some guards and do it as like one picture on the uh, on the screen. So we're doing portrait, we're generating our gate that our hero has arrived at. All right, this is looking good. So chat, let's go ahead and vote one, two, three, or four. We have option number one looking good we have option number two also looking good we have option number three also looking good sure and option number four go ahead and put in what your suggestions are for those one two three or four um, and since our last stream we actually have the photoshop beta with generative fill in it so we are going to use generative fill but we're also going to use uh, in painting here in adobe firefly so we've got a lot of twos looking good. We have a three, so one, two, three, or four. Chat, let me know. Two, two, two. It looks like two is our winner. I also love this piece up here. So we're gonna do a couple. I'm going to just go ahead and download this so we have it, but I'm going to go up to a generative fill. Uh, and generative fill, again, is a new thing that is available here in Adobe Firefly as well. So we're going to click on generative fill, and from here, we can maybe paint in some uh, people, right? Paint in some guards. So give me a description of the guards and let me know what they look like and kind of how we can incorporate them into this scene. What I might want to do is kind of pull this out at a wider angle. So chat, while you suggest what the guards look like, I'm going to go ahead and open up that image that we just downloaded and we are going to expand it a little bit. We're going to kind of uh, crop out, which is a little trick that I've learned. So a little, I want a little more of this scene. So we're gonna go ahead and just crop out. So one second, hold on, there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and do height with resolution. Let's do height with resolution. And I wanna kind of crop, leave that, but I do wanna crop a little more on the sides and a little more on top. And I'm curious what it's gonna do with the watermark, but we're gonna do this. And now all we need to do is we are going to do this and we're going to grab these edges and kind of generative fill the edges and we're not going to put anything in there we're just going to generate and it's going to expand those edges and let's see what we get with our gate uh, and again put those descriptions of the guards in the chat and so we can add some guards there there we go we got a little more context uh we did we did get a hit with the uh the um Gosh, what's the word that I want? Uh, the watermark generation, which happens every now and then, it's fine. Uh, but I am going to crop this up a little bit more just so we have the same kind of ratio and then generative fill that in as well. So chat, let me know, what do the guards look like? Uh, grand, high, exalted guardsmen in beautiful uniform, heavy decorated with medals, nice. Guarded with Cerberus, the three-headed dog. Hedgehog, got head, okay. Hedgehog guards in moon boots. Okay, that is where we are going with this because I think that that is a really fun idea. So let's do hedgehog guards with moon boots. And I actually really like the suggestion from YouTube. Um, that is great. Let's see who suggested that. Vandal, great suggestion over there on YouTube. Um, let me go ahead and hop back into Firefly. Actually, we don't need to. We can do it right here with generative fill. Let's do that. Um, so I want to put them kind of over on the side here. Let's see. So generative fill is going to uh, fill the whole area that I put something. So I'm actually going to put this pretty small over here. And let's go ahead, go to generative fill. And then I'm going to paste that in because I copied it. Hedgehog guards in moon boots. And I did like the suggestion here in chat. I'm going to kind of combine a couple. Grand high exalted guardsmen. Uh, actually, yeah, we're going to take this whole thing and we're going to mix it. So we're going to do uh, Grand High Exalted Hedgehogs. Oops, I hit the wrong button there. Uh, so we're gonna do Grand High Exalted Hedgehogs in Moon Boots. And I just have the whole prompt in there, so let's see what happens with everything uh, being in there at the same time. Okay, looking okay. All right, yes, that's the correct answer, chat. This is the correct answer. Look at that. All right, so we've got um, Grand High Exalted Guardsmen in a beautiful uniform, heavy decorated with medals, Hedgehog Guards in moon boots. So I'm just gonna do another generation over here on the side so that we have one on either side. Um, 
Oh, it's generated again. No, no, don't do that. I just want to copy this. Can I control C copy? Let's see if that generates over here. So let's do one more. Actually, if we do it over here, it's going to grab the uh, watermark over here as well. But let's give it a try and see what happens. This one's going to be a little bit smaller. I'm going to try to paste this in here. Um, hedgehog with moon boots. All right. Let's do that. And yes, I like the little hedgehog emojis in chat. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens here. It's probably going to uh, pull that watermark into a little bit of weirdness, but that's fine. That's fine for now. So, generative fill. Ooh, oh, wow. Honestly, Slay Queen. <laughs> yes. Slay. All right, let's see where else we went here. All right. I'm actually not mad about that one. So I think that that's pretty good. And what I'm gonna do to kind of unify this a little bit is there's a little too much yellow here. And so what I can do is I can select the subject here uh, by going to select and we can go to subject and it's gonna find this kind of hedgehog character for me. Uh, all right, that looks pretty good selection. And I'm just going to add an adjustment map, uh, sorry, uh, add a hue and saturation. And I'm going to shift that hue to be a little bit more blue. I'm gonna shift this, where is our blue? There we go, maybe a little bit more in that kind of aqua space, and then bring the saturation down a little bit. Actually, you know, I don't want hue and saturation. I want um, to have a warmth, let's do that. So we're gonna select subject one more time, and then I am going to add in some warmth. So let's do, where are we? Hue saturation primers, color balance? Color balance, I think is where I wanna be, yep color balance and then let's add in a little more of that blue and then a little more of that purple and then more there so make it a lot cooler and now you can see it's matched up a little bit better uh with what's happening over in the side so i'm gonna go ahead and save this and we are gonna save this i don't know probably to our desktop because i like to live chaotically um hit the wrong hockey's there all right uh yeah, let's leave in downloads. It's a bad idea, but let's do it. So we're gonna do that and we are going to put it into our document right over here. Maybe later. And chat, we are going to go ahead and put this in our document. So let me grab it here and I put that in the downloads and there we go. Let's scale this down and boom. All right, awesome generation for our stream here. So our hero slowly trudged over the icy landscape and right against the tower. The, let's see here. What's cool is Firefly actually saves the file name as the description. So I can go back and fill it in. Um, so the intricate, intricate, golden, blue, curved gate with heavy brass. Let's see here. Heavy brass. Open doors covered in ice. Doors covered in ice, covered in ice. Were guarded, because it's plural. Uh, were guarded by, and then chat, uh, I believe what we had here was this one. Grand High Exalted uh, Hedgehog Guardsmen in beautiful uniforms and heavily decorated with medals. All right, so from here, we arrive at the gates, we have our guardsmen, and then what happens next, chat? The more you take, the more you leave behind. Solve the riddle to gain your entry, chat. We have reached a checkpoint, and we are stuck here until you can solve this riddle. So, what is the answer to this riddle? The more you take, the more you, hedgehog is spelled wrong, thank you, I'll fix that. The more you take, the more you leave behind. Solve the riddle to gain your entry. What is our, what is the answer to this riddle chat? Uh, I'm gonna keep you here until we solve the mystery of this riddle. And I did just put it in chat for you, but for there, once we get the correct answer, we get to enter in and generate the description of a grand room, some kind of grand room that we're walking through the gates into this room, but we have to solve the riddle first. We're stuck here. Um, chat, 
please help me. I don't know the answer to this riddle. So while you do that, um, I am going to show you a different way that we could have done this image is we could have done some painting here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do add and I'm going to add in and kind of just draw in where I want to have that guard, right? And remember we did that little guard and we are going to put it, uh, oops, we're going to put that description that we had, uh, which I believe is still over in Photoshop. Let me grab it real quick. And chat, you need to answer the riddle or else we're going to be stuck here. I don't know what we can do here. All right. And I'm going to paste that in. Oops. Andrew. Uh, Grand High Exalt. Oh, I literally put it on the other page. Let's do that. So chat, there is a riddle right above um, where the recent messages are. We need you to solve that riddle before we can go on. So we're going to do Grand High Exalted Hedgehog's Garment of Metals. And we can simply paint that in in Adobe Firefly by painting the area. Thank you. And then hit generate. And it's going to fill that area with me. So chat, we're trying to fill this riddle. Try to see We're yes, we're stuck trying to pass. The more you take, the more you leave behind. Solve the riddle to gain entry. The more you take, the more you leave behind. What is the answer uh, to that riddle? So we're clicking here. Ooh, okay. I think I need to add fantasy in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel and then I'm going to add fantasy art are we stuck chat uh do we need a clue uh here's a clue is you take many of these a day thousands of these a week and hundreds of thousands in a year Ooh! so you can see here that it has generated some other hedgehogs for us um, using that in painting feature so we're going to keep that one because i think it's cute and then if i wanted to i could draw in another one which is what we're going to do right here and then paste in our description um fantasy right here chat i know you can get it the more you take the more you leave behind uh misty we think that misty got it where is misty's answer let's see here misty says footsteps let's see what happens let's put in our answer and see if the guard lets us through footsteps Correct. Enter. Yes, we have made it. We solved the riddle and we are moving on into the gate. So that was the correct answer. The guards, the hedgehog guards have led us into this golden icy gate. And now we enter into blank chat. Where are we entering into? Uh, give me a description of, Ooh, someone says joy. That's actually a really good exam. Uh, uh, that's a really good answer as well. So our hero has entered the room. We have passage. What does this room look like? What are we walking into chat? Describe to me the colors that we're seeing, the architecture that we're seeing, what's happening on the floor, on the walls, that there are other creatures in here. Um, what does the grand room look like? And while we do that, I'm going to go back and I am going to go into my text to image right here. So we are going to just start out and I'm going to put in like grand ballroom uh, and let me know your suggestions. Uh, if you're watching on Behance, I'm looking at that chat. If you're looking at YouTube, our um, mod is also looking at that chat and putting them over so I can see them. So any suggestions you have, regardless of where you are watching, I am here for you. And I think this calls for another portrait. We need that big, long kind of, uh, uh, look oh okay we have uh from marcy a long blue icy hallway with golden lacy domed ceiling Ooh, let's try that one i also love the dynamic of the ice and the um the kind of like ice and gold feature that we're working with so we're going to generate this uh, and i do like uh some of the other suggestions i'm coming that i see coming in um the more you take the more you learn yes uh, AI prompts. Yes. Great answer. Oh my gosh. This looks so cool. Chat. This is amazing. So I do need to add a detail because I know where the story is going. Um, and let's do this. I'm just going to add in a throne at the end because I do want to have that throne at the end of the room because we are going to be heading uh, to meet someone in the next page. And I need, <laughs> I need to have a little bit there um, with the th throne in the distance let's do throne chair 
All right, in chat, these are going to be the ones that you will go ahead and vote for. One, two, three, or four. We have answered the riddle, and we are moving into this glorious, glorious room. So chat, let's see here. All right, we have one. We have option number two. We have option number three. And we have option number four. Which one do we like the most? One, two, three, or four. Chat, let me know what you love. I also love the gold and the ice that we're working with. And Marcy is saying four. Yes, Marcy is the one who generated this prompt. So uh, you, you get two votes, Marcy. Four, four, two, four. All right, it looks like four is going to be our winner. So I'm going to go ahead and download this. I agree. I think it's good for where we're going as well. So we're going to drop that into our document right here. And I'm going to grab our prompt. Oops, those are not the right guys. Get out of here. We already we already vanquished you with our riddle. There we go. We are in the throne room now. All right, let's go ahead and pull that up. So let's grab our prompt right here. And chat, we are going to put that into our story. So our hero entered a long blue icy hallway, a long blue icy hallway with lacy with a golden lacy domed ceiling and a throne chair in the distance. We're just going to do throne in the distance. All right, we have entered the room. We are here in the throne room. And what happens next? On the throne was description of the king. We have met the king of this realm. We have finally answered the call and decided that we found, uh, we've discovered. And he stood and actually, let's not get there. Let's go ahead and descri describe the king. So let's describe what the king looks like. And I'm just going to type in here, um, a king on a throne animal. So We've kind of gone with this animal theme for everything, and maybe I think we stay there for fantasy. But chat, describe to me, we've walked into this beautiful throne room. Who is on the throne? What does the throne, <laughs> these, these generations are, are so good. Um, okay, don't look at these. Don't look at these, these are just a starting point. These are, these are really good. Uh, I am going to grab some details real quick from um, where we were. Uh, because I liked the uh, blue icy golden ceiling. Blue icy and golden. Let's do that. Uh, blue icy golden. Uh, all right. Marcy says blue unicorn with gold necklace and golden cape. Ooh, I like that. All right. Ooh, could be a queen. Let's do a queen. I love that. A mighty blue mole. Uh, all right, I like the idea of the mole. So we're gonna combine that. So we're gonna do, um, I like the cape. So it is going to be a queen, love that. And we are going to do, um, I think the mole, let's see here, mole with golden necklace and golden cape. All right, I like that. We have Marshmallow Man, that's wild. Uh, an opulence example light in the king figure standing on an extremely lab and an orna ornate throne. Love that vandal. Um, all right, let's go ahead and generate these. And I do want this one actually to be a square because I know where I'm gonna put him in, uh, put, put her, sorry, in the um, kind of lineup of the page. So we're gonna do a square. Ooh, okay. So let's do, um, in a throne room and we're going to do a wide angle here just give it a little more space uh sitting on the throne it's a really long prompt uh, what is the name of this website? This is firefly.adobe.com. It is in open beta right now, so you can go and play with it and generate yourself. Um, so really great here. So a queen on a throne, animal. Oh, actually, we don't want animal. We just want a uh, mole. And it, let's do mole rat, because I think that that will give us a little more uh, clarity on the mole. So let's go ahead and we're generating here a queen on a throne, blue icy golden mole rat with golden. Oh, 
Look at her. She is beauty and she is grace. She is elegant and she is glory. Uh, let's go ahead and actually let's do an example you figured on extremely oh extremely uh, elaborate and ornate throne. I love that. That's good. Okay, let's do that. Um, uh, uh, a let's. I'm gonna restructure this prompt because it's not it's not great. So we're gonna do mole rat queen on a extremely elaborate and ornate throne blue icy golden i like that uh we want a gold necklace and gold cape in a th uh, let's do sitting on a throne and we're going to generate all right there we go so let's see here so we have morat queen on an extremely elaborate and orate or ornate throne all right yes these will be our options here because i think these are really good so we have one, option number one. We have option number two, option number three, and option number four, right there. So one, two, three, or four. One, two, three, four. Where are we landing with this? Chat, I, I love this show. This is one of my favorite shows to do. I think it's just so much fun. So one, two three or four where do we want to head with this queen so we have some on two we have a vote for one what else we got here i think i think my favorite is this one uh but chat you get to decide this is your show that's why choose your own adventure choose your adventure not my adventure it's yours uh four it is a split decision here four 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 kind of looks more friendly all right let's go ahead and go with four here um we're gonna download that and i agree looks pretty friendly so our queen is here and she looks friendly so let's go ahead and drop that in our friend our friendly nice queen who we have stumbled upon in the throne room and we're just gonna put her down in the corner right here. Wow, she looks so serene and peaceful and just like welcoming to love us into the uh, throne room. But then she stood and shouted, begin the trial. Suddenly our hero was surrounded by what? And they fought to complete the gauntlet. We have walked into a trap, y'all. It is a gauntlet. It is a trial. And what are we being attacked by? What does the trial look like? And how are we going to get through this trial? So this is going to be something that we may generate a bunch of pieces for and then use Photoshop to composite them together. Or we may paint some, some things into the scene. So let us know, what does the trial look like? What are we being attacked by? What are we trying to dodge? Uh, what is going on in this scene? And yes, not so friendly after. I love that you all went to like, oh, she's like serene and nice and friendly. I knew exactly where we were going. Um, but I am going to go ahead and put in our prompt while you think of that next one. So there's, man, uh, I'm going to grab pieces of this. I got you, chat. Uh, all right. So it was a Morak queen on a throne. Uh, we're going to take out blue, gold, and icy and just do with a gold necklace and a golden cape. All right, looks good to me. Uh, so begin the trial. What does the trial look like? Not so friendly after all, I agree. Um, so we are gonna grab, um, uh, actually let's, yeah, let's put, keep the golden and icy because I think that that's really cool. Um, so we're gonna do golden icy room and then continue from there. Uh, and someone's going to say meerkats with slingshots. Okay, I like that. Meerkats with slingshots. Blue, golden, icy room. Uh, let's see what that generates because that's already going to be a little bit wild. Uh, but keep them coming. We're going to add stuff into these. I do want to make sure that I'm in portrait because we are going to be taking up the full page with this one. Uh, and we've got golden armor and helmets. Ooh, I like that. I like that maybe like golden icy since we're in this like golden ice look. Let's do um, let's do golden and icy. So meerkats with slingshots uh, wearing blue and gold icy armor uh, or otters yes i love that uh, and maybe i'm trying to think of something that would be 
Because I think it's going to pull, like, the, like, whip slingshot. Oh, my gosh. Oh, chat. Uh, honestly, I, like, wanted to do more, but these are incredible. So, let's go ahead and we're going to, like, probably put this into a scene or something. Or maybe just build out another look. These, these generations are so cool. So, let's go ahead and do one, two, three, four. One, two three or four these are so cool that i think i might add a page to the book um so which one do we want to do these are awesome uh and chad is making more suggestions so i'm just going to add another page to the story um and someone's saying all of them Ooh, i actually like that that's a good idea <laughs> use the okay chat calm down uh <laughs> this is gonna be so hard to use them all, all right i'm gonna go to firefight i don't want to generate this one that vandal says um so let's do this so Vandal says a fancy court jester and magician uh, entertaining a cro small crowd of well-dressed interviews facing trial for heinous crimes. I'm guessing that that, the heinous crimes is going to hit the content filter. So I'm going to take that out. Um, but we are going to do blue icy room and see what happens. And yes, this is way too much fun. I agree. This is like my favorite stream to do because it's just so much fun. I did say surrounded. So yes, all of them. Uh, I agree. So we're, oh wait, hold, let's get in um, meerkat. Near cats and see what happens here. We've been doing generating a lot of like animal creatures. So, uh, Vandal, this is for you. Ooh, fun! Just a little, just a little goofy, just a little goofy pop. Boop, boop. <laughs> all right, uh, let's go ahead and put all of. So, someone's saying surrounded by. So yeah, why not all of them, chat? There's, there's no rules here. All right, let's download all of them. I need to figure out how I'm going to put them on the page. And I may do like a one, two, three, four. And what I'm going to do here um, is hopefully going to be kind of fun. Is I'm going to add in some like uh, kind of big pieces. So let's go ahead and so, sorry, some like motion lines to the page and try to get something like a little bit interesting going. So we're going to do our queen here. Looking gorgeous. And then... We are just going to make this into a new page. So I'm going to duplicate the page here in Illustrator. Uh, and this is our last page, which is fine because I think we're actually going to hit time, which is great. And we are going to put, oops. Oh, put it all the way over there. We don't want that. There we go. And I'm going to put that on the next page. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and put in your prompt that you just had. And that was meerkats with sling slutch. All right, let's do by meerkats with slingshots wearing gold and blue icy armor. And they fought to complete the gauntlet. All right, let's put all four of those on here because I think that, that would be fun. Did I download all four? Um, I didn't even hold on. Where are my downloads? Everything exploded. All right, one, two, three, four. The royal guards. These all, honestly, these are like some of the best that I've seen come out of Firefly. Um, this is really cool. All right, down here. And then we can lock all four of these onto this page. We're just gonna group them in. So what I wanna do is I want to try to like add some extra like textural elements on top of these. And so, making the jump from YouTube, what's up, Serge? Welcome to Behance. Um, we're usually over here. I do look at the YouTube chat, though. So, I mean, wherever you are, I'm here with you. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and add some kind of, like, I want, like, lightning. I want, like, sparks. I want, like, crazy funness. So, I'm actually just going to keep that open because that's really good. Let's do um, lightning and sparks on a black background. And this is one of my favorite tricks to do is we're going to do this and then we are going to use the screen blending mode and it is going to put it over um all of the pieces that we are using for these kind of uh creatures and let's do blue lightning and chat we don't know where we're going yet um we may need to do uh, a generation for the gauntlet but if you have suggestions for where the story goes after this um, we do have about 15 minutes left and so we can write it together um, or we can have me write some little uh 
kind of like pieces to keep it going. Uh, so I'm gonna do wide angle here because I do want a little space on the edges. Um, and let's do subtle because I don't want it as crazy as it is right now. So we're going to do blue lighting and sparks on black background subtle. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh. I really like some of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this. I'm going to download this one here. And then we're going to bring it over into Illustrator. And here we're going to use the blending mode. And the blending mode that we're going to use is going to be screen. So I'm going to put this over here and just scale it down a little bit. Oops. And from there, we are going to right there, change the blending mode to screen and watch what happens. So check that out. We've got that lightning kind of hitting. Actually, I really like how that's hitting the uh, hitting that cat. Actually, OK, let's see what happens if I put it like on the staff here. OK, I think that's kind of cool if we put it on the staff and something that I like to do. And this is like for sure just a weird little hack that I like to do is I'm going to create a, a box here. And then I'm going to fill it with a gradient. So we're going to click on gradient and I'm going to do a freeform gradient. And what I want to do, and this is, again, you could do this in Photoshop way easier. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to kind of mask out. I'm going to change the blending mode of this real quick so that I can see what we're doing is I want to kind of mask out the edges. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that gradient and I want to make sure that I have the lightning coming in from the places that I want it to show up. Then I'm also going to, around the edges, just give it a little bit of black. And that's going to help to take away some of these edges. So I do want to make sure that I'm capturing that piece right there. And this, I'm going to go black as well. Take that out. Maybe pull this in. And then this one, I want to mask out as well. Ooh, but not nearly as much. I'm going to pull this maybe there. And so what I can do now, and this is for sure the wrong way to do it, a fun little hack for you to play around with, is we are going to use something called a opacity mask. So I'm going to grab that lightning that I have here and the gradient above it. So the white is going to show through, the black is going to go away. And when I hit mask, make mask, you can see now that it's taken those pieces away. So now we have this nice little lightning bolt that I can kind of rotate and put on this staff. I think that's pretty cool. Um, let's do here. I think this guy, um, maybe let's do, let's do some like uh, shine, some shine lines. I don't know how to do that. Maybe some light flares. So let's do like blue and gold light flare. Let's see what that looks like Oh, on a black background. Need the black background there. One second, here we go. We're just vibing. I'm vibing to the music with you guys. All right. Ooh, okay. I think this one has promise. So I'm going to download this one. And I think that we can kind of put that in and then do the same thing where we mask it over uh, to get an interesting look. All right, so let's scale this down. And I'm trying to think, ooh, let's give him laser eyes. Why not? So I'm going to change the blend mode here to screen. Mm, the eyes are too good to be laser eyes. Maybe we do like this kind of thing. Let's do that. Yep, so let's do that. And then I'm also going to uh, do the same thing where I create a little gradient mask over this because I do want to have the edges be a little more like blurred out. So what I'm going to do is we're going to grab, actually, let's just use the pen tool here. I'm going to kind of grab this. And again, usually I would do this in Photoshop. Uh, I'm just doing it here because we're already in Illustrator. And so it's going to be a little bit easier for me to do it in Illustrator. All right, and we are going to fill that right now with a gradient. We're going to change it to freeform gradient. And then I'm going to mask out all the pieces that I don't want. Uh, how do I get less of it? That's, yeah, that's, I mean, that's probably close to where I want it. Oops. Black. Andrew, you should be doing this in Photoshop. I should. 
I definitely should. Uh, are we? No. We're doing it right here in Illustrator. <laughs> Wrong answer. All right. Uh, yes. Let's go ahead and take these down a little bit. And then I do want to do another white one here because I want to keep that going through. All right, that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and make that mask. Grab those two pieces, come over here, make mask. Looks good to me. The edges are a little hard, but that's fine. Um, I think we can be okay with that. And I'm going to rotate, make a copy, and then bring that one over here. Cool. I'm not mad about it at all. I think that's really cool. So we added some in uh, some little details, which I think is really cool. We got about 10 minutes left. So chat, um, we can do a few things. Let's go ahead and do the gauntlet real quick and show what the gauntlet might look like uh, and generate an image for that. And then I think that's where we're going to leave the story for now. We'll probably uh, continue this story another time. I really love doing this stream. So I'm sure that we'll do another one of those. Um, let's go ahead and see what the gauntlet look like. The gauntlet was a trial uh, by lightning, fire, I don't know, element. Let's do an element there. Um, <coughs> excuse me, chat, describe to me, what was the gauntlet about? Uh, as a trial by something and something. <laughs> uh, go ahead and describe it to me and we are going to generate an image of that gauntlet so that we can see what it looks like uh, using Adobe Firefly. So I'm gonna do a blue icy room just to get started so we can see that. Um, in a castle with gold. And then chat, give me some, so, some suggestions of what the gauntlet is. Uh, and we are going to do um, with meerkats in gold armor. And then what are they doing? What's happening in this scene? Hello, Double Double. Nice to see you here in chat. A water balloon fight? Okay. Um, so a blue eyes with mirrors gold armor and a green snail superhero uh, throwing water balloons. <laughs> Y'all are wild. All right, let's hit enter, see what this generates. A trial bomb magic testing the spiritual strength of all who witness such magnificence. Ooh, I like magic. So let's do some magical in there and maybe some fantasy. Oh, this is kind of cool. All right, so let's do magical fantasy. And I'm gonna do try to do multiple meerkats and see if it pushes it to like do like four. Any other suggestions for the scene? I think the water balloon fight is actually really fun, and I love that it's like gold. Trial by earth, wind, and fire. Ooh. Okay. This is a <laughs> this is this is looking really cool. Uh, I like the golden water balloons. All right, chat. I think that we may be good to go with one of these. Um, I do have a composite that is our hero that I may try to uh, throw in there that is like the hero kind of in um, another scene. I'm curious if I can find that. Let me look through my cloud docs real quick and see if I have that PSD still that we can composite in uh, to our scene. I may not, which is fine. Um, I don't, which is okay. So we're looking, all right, one, two, three, or four. So one, two, three, or four. I actually like all these options. I like I like two a lot because it feels like they've brought out like the like demigod of meerkats. Uh three, yes, we have a vote. And four. So one, two, three, or four. One, two, three, or four. But they're all pretty cute. I agree, they're all pretty cute. One, two, three, or four, chat. Let me know. This will be the last page. 
uh, I think. So one, two, three, or four. Only four has a snail. That's fine. I don't think we need our hero in there. And I can composite him in later as well. We have like a kind of from the back look that we actually used. Um, let me grab it real quick. There's another page that we use this on. Um, where is it? Right here. So I have this one that I think I'm going to composite in. Uh, but I can do that later because we don't have time on this stream. Uh, I am going to fill in while you vote. The gauntlet was trial by... Uh, let's see. The gauntlet was a water balloon fight. Four, because it looks like a fight uh, in a blue icy room in a castle with, f uh, with meerkats in gold armor throwing water balloons, throwing magical magical water balloons all right so let's go ahead and generate i do think that four looks the most like a fight um and then i think that one and two got some votes did it mix them up i feel like it mixed them up i feel like this is the one that we liked right so i'm gonna do that one and then we are going to put that into our scene and guess what, chat? We only have a few minutes left, so it is time for a full recap of our story so far. Um, and I'm very excited. Let's do it. All right, you ready? Here we go. Back to artboard number one. Once upon a time, there was a super snail that lived in an ancient labyrinth. They didn't know yet, but they were almost ready for a big adventure. While they enjoyed their hexagonal iridescent banana split ice cream sundae with a hot dog with sprinkles, suddenly there was a knock at the door. It was none other than the wombat salesman wearing Egyptian jewelry that lived in the swamp next door. The ruler of the land had issued a decree and all creatures were called to a lava foam parade in the center of town. Our creature was excited and ready to find the perfect outfit. They ran to the closet and put on their tutu, bright neon shirt, and sunglasses with the top hat. It was time for a celebration. With the best dress, our uh, with their best dress, our hero set into the dar uh, dark forest with a happy heart and an adventurous spirit. They didn't know that lurking in the shadows was Kronos, an evil alpaca with red eyes and a gold necklace. Suddenly. From behind them, Cronus appeared and conjured up an army of squirrels to attack our hero with salt and cuteness. Our hero grabbed their candy cane sword and fought with all their might to break through to the light at the end of the path. Swish, smash, sling, swoosh, Cronus was vanquished and the path was clear. Once they arrived at the festival, it was time for a snack. Our hero found the perfect cart and ordered a slime hot dog with a side of mushrooms to recover from the battle. As they were enjoying the snack, suddenly a bright light flashed and a portal opened, sucking our hero into a haze of light and smoke. As the portal came to a close, our hero found themselves standing over a breathtaking view. As far as they could see was a bioluminescent ocean landscape with islands, organic vines, and forest views from a cliff with small rabbits, magical fog, and glittering fireflies. Suddenly, from seemingly nowhere, a buzzard in a blizzard with lizard scales dressed as a wizard appeared and said to all uh, to return home, follow the call. Their name was Ozzy. Our hero knew what this meant. They would have to explore the land and find their way home. In the distance was a blue tower made of gelatin with robot bees with blue vines glowing in a gorgeous landscape. Our hero slowly trudged over the icy landscape and arrived at the gates of the tower. The intricate golden blue curved gate with heavy brass doors covered in ice was guarded by grand high exalted hedgehog guardsmen in beautiful uniforms and heavily decorated with medals. The more you take, the more you leave behind. Solve the riddle to gain your entry, the guard said. Footsteps! Correct! Enter! Our hero entered a long, blue, icy hallway with a golden, lacy dome ceiling and throne in the distance. And on the throne was a mole rat queen on an extremely elaborate and ornate throne with gold necklace and a gold cape. She stood and shouted, Begin the trial! Suddenly, our hero was surrounded by meerkats with slingshots wearing blue and gold icy armor, and they fought to complete the gauntlet. The gauntlet was a water balloon fight in an icy room in a castle with meerkats in gold armor throwing magical water balloons. Uh, so, chat, 
that's where we are. Thank you so much. I'm going to save this, and don't worry, we'll, we'll probably come back to it. And I think the next stream, uh, maybe we'll do a two more streams, uh, but we need to start wrapping up the story. So if you've joined us for all of them, start thinking about where we're going with the story. Start thinking about where we're landing with it. Um, and we, I will go back and fix all those typos. I just didn't have time as we went through. Uh, but join me for the next stream and make sure you stick around. There's more content happening here on Adobe Live throughout the day and every day. And make sure you tune in 10 a.m. next week, 10 a.m. Pacific time next week for a special boot camp with our friend Bob Ewing. It's going to be a great time and I will see you again another time. Goodbye, everyone.